Hey guys, so this is me a film related video. I want to talk about CGI versus practical effects and what I think comes out on top more. So, as an old school film lover, I love practical effects. My favorite little practical effects film would have to be John Carpenter's The Thing. It was a, just a spectacle of great practical effects. And some directors today use practical effects. For example, Quentin Tarantino refuses to use CGI and mainly sticks to practical effects. Now, I am mixed when it comes to CGI. Um, I believe you, CGI is, it can be a good thing if the film needs it or if you're using a little bit of it. Um, and if you're going to do it, do it good. Um, for instance, the Star Trek movies, the new ones, had great special like CGI effects. It was really damn good looking. Um, I absolutely loved the work on that movie. But they also used practical effects with the makeup. They had a great mix of CGI and practical. Um, another great CGI film to me has to be the, um, you know, much as I hate to say it, you know, probably Transformers. Those had great special CGI, and I don't even like those movies, but I can respect the fact that it had great CGI in it. They looked really good. Um, the new Lion King had decent CGI, but where films, I just don't like when films overdo it too much um, and do it so poorly. Um, case in point, you know, like I said, the, the Dumbo movie, live action one, wasn't really that good. The, the special effects in that didn't look as good as it could have been. Um, you look at a movie like uh, Batman uh, Justice League, even though I think that movie is decent, the CGI was just shit, and it kind of ruined the experience for me. And the last bit of Wonder Woman's CGI was just crap, but I just want to go ahead and explain you know, what makes each great and each bad. So, also off the practical effects. Practical effects, to me... I love it because you get that realistic satisfaction of it. Like, I hate it when slasher movies or horror movies needlessly put CGI blood. The bad example, the worst example of this is Texas Chainsaw 3D. If you've ever seen it, it has some of the worst blood CGI effects I've ever seen in my life. Uh, there are some movies that, horror movies that work well with CGI, um, like Cabin in the Woods, but. That mainly also goes practical. That was mainly practical. Um, you know, but there there are a lot of good practical effects out there. You know, John Carpenter's The Thing is, like I said, the best example of how to do practical effects. It's a great movie with great practical. Um, you know, the Evil Dead remake had great use of practical effects. Hell, Evil Dead, the original, and the Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show, well, they mainly use practical effects in that TV show, but they also had to use some CGI, which is understandable. But the, but the point I'm making is that uh, the Evil Dead, you know, they mainly use practical effects, and it worked out to their advantage. Made a great piece of media. To me, I thought the remake was great. I absolutely loved the practical effect work that uh, Betty O's in directing that. Um, as much as I hate to say it, um, Don't Breathe was also a good example of a movie with you no know, CGI. I, I don't like that movie, but at least he stuck the practical. But you can mess up CGI, well, practical effects, and um, what happens when you ruin it? It ruins the illusion. So it, this is mainly problem with low-budget movies, and I can see why. You know, it's not their fault. Um, but you know, it can end up looking fake. Look at a movie like Friday the 13th Part 3D. It had the worst practical effects I've ever seen with the um, worst-looking 3D effects. Um, but that really wasn't their fault, but it was still kind of shit. Um... There's, there's a lot of ways you can fuck up practical effects, which makes it harder to do, because with CGI, you just do it on the computer, you're done. With practical, you have to make it just right to make it look realistic, but when you nail it, you fucking nail it. And that, that is shown off in some films so beautifully. Like I said, I'm, I hate to keep bringing this up. John Carpenter's The Thing was such a great example of great practical effect use. Now let's move over to CGI. Um... I do think CGI can be good. Um, I don't mind it at all. I enjoy some CG movies with CGI in it. 
Um, Shazam was a fantastic use of CGI. Looked great for a DC film. Um, you know, there there are Transformers, as I said, Transformers was a good one. Um, you know, Cabin in the Woods had great use of CGI. Um, you know, Stranger Things has great CGI. But when you basically it's used for like you know to make something that is impossible to do practically, phys like like feasible to do with a computer. And I don't mind CGI, but when you fuck it up, you absolutely fuck it up. When you look at movies like Justice League and you know, like The Meg and you know, all that. You know, there are movies with horrible CGI out there that's just been ridiculed to death because of his poor CGI use, and that's unfortunate. Because, um, you know, when you look at stuff like, like, the Stranger Things and Transformers and, you know, all that, they use, as Cabinet was, they use great CGI. But then you look at these things, like Justice League, you just think, what the fuck happened? Man of Steel, which came out long before Justice League and the special effects, had better CGI than Justice League. Shazam has better effects. Aquaman has better effects, and that's sad. But when you nail CGI, like I said, with practical, you absolutely fucking nail it, and you make something incredibly awesome. But what do I prefer? I prefer practical. I'm old school, I like old school effects, and when it comes to films, I love seeing filmmakers actually implementing the, you know, you know, the practical effects in their movies, especially slashers. If slashers do it right, they absolutely nail it. Um, the movie The Ranger did it beautifully on Shudder. Um, there's a lot of good movies out there that use practical, and, you know, when you fuck up on a practical effect... You know, it may be bad, but I don't think it's as bad as when you fuck up a CGI effect. Honestly, I prefer practical over CGI. That does not mean I hate CGI. I think CGI is okay, but I just prefer practical. So anyway, this is the video for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I also hope you guys enjoyed my ranking of the DCEU movies. I know that um, you know, it wasn't really well liked, but um, it's just opinions. And uh, to come up with the Incredible Spam Boy, the next video is going to be about you, bud. I'm sorry for putting this off. I'm just been extremely busy. And yeah, expect the next expect the next video to be about you, man. Later.